Welcome to InDesign. So we're going to start off at the most logical place, and that is to show you how to open an existing document or to create a new document. To open an existing document, you can click here, or you can go up to the File menu and pull down to Open. In this video, however, I want to show you how to create a new document. So you'll notice a couple of buttons on the screen here, or if you go up to the file menu again, you can pull down to new and then choose document from the little window that shows up. You're cute. Uh, you'll also notice the keystroke. Command N will do the trick very nicely. But I'm going to choose a new document right there. And then it will open up this new document window. So very similar to what we've seen in Illustrator. And uh, if you look over here at the top, you'll see several tabs. Uh, so if I click on mobile, you'll see what that looks like. And it will give you some pre-existing sizes you can choose from. You can go to web. Again, same thing. This is really more for online content, not necessarily a web page. And then finally, print, which is where I'm going to recommend you go. So you'll notice up here that there are several preset standard sizes. And so I'm just going to make sure letter is selected right there. And then I'm going to come over to the right side here. Units of measurement. So picas, I'm sure I've mentioned that by now. Yes, dear. Uh, we don't really need to work in picos. That's something more that graphic designers and printers use. Uh, we're going to just change the measurement system here to inches so that you more easily recognize the size of the media. Orientation, so vertical or horizontal. We're going to stick with a vertical page. That's standard for print pieces. Uh, down here, you'll see the number of pages. So I'm going to pretend like we're setting up for a four-page brochure, which has a front cover, a back cover, and then two interior pages. So I'm going to change that to four. And then I have this weird little box over here that is currently checked underneath facing pages. So what does that mean? I don't know. Well, if I don't check this and I open up the document now, it's going to have four individual pages. So kind of the same as if you had separate artboards in Illustrator. But that's not what I want for this brochure. I want my brochure to have a front cover, a back cover, and then two interior pages that are side by side. Well, those two side by side pages are facing pages, also known as a spread. So I'm going to check that. Start page just means I want to start on page one. And then this other stuff, we're going to kind of leave alone for now. There will be a separate video on how to set up your columns and your margins and the space between your columns. I sometimes will set it up here in the new document window, but more often than not, I will set that up once I am inside my document. Okay, so let's click create. And that will open up our new document. And if I open up the page windows here, you'll see what we've created is a four page document. Here's the front cover. Here's the back cover, which are single pages. And then the interior pages, pages two and three, which are facing each other and they are a spread. Okay, so that's it for opening up a new document. In the next video, we'll talk about some of these menus and tools and stuff like that. And then we'll start building stuff.